So it's time for a break. Do you need to vaccinate before you vacation? Dr. Andrew Seymour says that depends on where you're going. Uh, if you're going to developing countries, you probably should have hepatitis A and hepatitis B vaccines. Consider typhoid vaccine, consider a cholera vaccine, uh, consider yellow fever. For the sunny south, Dr. Seymour says it's more important to be up to date with routine immunizations and boosters, particularly measles this year. So most of the measles that we see today are in people who were usually born after 1957, um, who may not have had the first or second uh, vaccine, or alternatively, people who were not born in North America. Remember that any vaccine will take about two weeks to offer full protection. Travelers should also protect themselves from viral diseases spread through mosquito bites. So use DEET containing protection or wear long-sleeved clothing. So those are important measures to protect against things like dengue fever and chikungunya virus, which are now circulating very commonly in the Caribbean. No matter your destination, he says travelers' diarrhea is always a concern. If you can't peel it or boil it, don't eat it. Um, be very cautious of picking food up just from a street vendor where there's no certainty of, of clean uh, food or good food preparation. Um, generally speaking, in many of these developing countries, you should only be drinking bottled water. And remember, whether you're on trains, planes or automobiles, hand washing may actually be your best travel companion. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.